Hello and a very warm welcome to today's oneness session. My name is Nikki. Few of us at one point practice meditation on a regular basis, which has helped the team to establish and maintain a peaceful, positive and creative mind, which impacts our productivity and quality of work and life. During the pandemic, the creative team at one point started this initiative to share what works for us with our clients, partners, friends, and everyone who's interested. This is a series of sessions that are held fortnightly, where we invite experienced meditators from across the world who share their thoughts with us and also guide us into a meditation. Today, I'm pleased to welcome Bill Simon, who joins us from Spain. Welcome, Bill. Hello. Thanks for the invitation. Sure. Introducing Bill, he has been exploring meditation and self-development skills for over 35 years. He is a teacher and lecturer on spiritual topics and since 2009 has been part of the national coordinating team of the Brahma Kumaris in Spain. Professionally, Bill is an executive coach and has an extensive experience in facilitating and training management level like Nestle, Mango, Volvo and Telefonica. His purpose is to inspire people to strengthen and develop their potential, releasing their inner resources. So today, the topic Bill has chosen is Detox Your Mind. Become free from negative and wasteful thoughts. Over to you, Bill. Oh, I'm happy to participate in your program. Thanks for this invitation. And this is a topic which is very, very useful and very important for all of us because when we have um, lots of negative and wasteful thoughts in our mind, everything becomes more difficult. Our life becomes more complicated. We clash with many things, with others. And mainly we don't enjoy our life because of the heaviness of our mind. So this idea to detox in fact, when we, when we look at the physical aspect of detox, there are many diets nowadays that, uh, that are designed to detox your body, uh, free your body from toxins, so that the, the physical organs may, may be cleansed and the system, your immune system may improve. So what they do normally is either the, you need to fast, uh, take a fast, or, or maybe you, you eat specific uh, foods that help you to detox. So for instance, only vegetables, only, only juice of certain fruits, this uh, taken on a regular basis will help you to, to detox your body. So, in order to detox your, our mind, we can take the similar example. The example that, well, it's not so much, at least this is my experience, is not so much about fighting your negative and wasteful thoughts, fighting your negative energy of your mind, but it's more about fasting. It's more about uh, focusing Focusing in your mind in uh, more positive and higher, more quality thoughts, thoughts of a higher quality. So this is in fact the, the fasting. And the good news is that the practice that helps us to do this uh, fasting, to do this detox, is the meditation, the practice of meditation, so that we can we can teach. Um, our mind or we can we can educate our mind to create a type of thoughts that elevate uplift the level of energy of our minds 
So this is my experience that when we have uh, thoughts of quality, thoughts that are more peaceful, more meaningful, thoughts that are uh, positive and beneficial for us, then what happens is that our mind uh, becomes like uh, charged positively. There is like, a, like an extra energy in our mind. Our mind is, is more powerful. So what, what means this? This means that I have like more creative power to think in a positive way in the practical situations that come in front of me. This is automatically uh, finishing. This is becoming, this is helps me to become free from negative and wasteful thinking automatically because one of the properties of the mind, we, we have to observe our thoughts. We have to become aware of what happens. How does our mind function? And we realize that in fact, it's, it's a little bit like computers. In fact, it doesn't matter. Sometimes we, we think the computer, the processor of the computer is doing so many things at once. But in reality, if you study computer science, you will see that maybe now there are systems in parallel, but uh, mainly the computer is processing one instruction in a certain moment, in a, in a certain in a specific instant, there is only one instruction. It's a good example, but because it means that our mind functions in the same way. It can be busy only with one type of thoughts. And so if, if I am uh, having positive, uh, powerful, useful thoughts at a given moment, those negative and wasteful thoughts cannot enter. And the opposite is, is the same when my mind is busy in uh, wasteful thinking, then it's very difficult to, to allow space for other thoughts. So this practice of meditation helps us how to, first of all, reduce the speed of our thoughts. In meditation, as we practice it here, we concentrate on few positive, uh, higher level thoughts. And so this creates, as I was saying, more energy in our minds. And we raise the frequency of our mind so that when we reach that level of uh, positive energy, it's like we are above the influence of those negative and wasteful feelings and thoughts. And so what I need to do, the, the detox, uh, let's say the det detox diet that I need to follow is to practice every day this type of meditation exercises. And then it's not just about meditating. Of course, uh, life, uh, we, we need to play our parts. We need to do many things. So we meditate, for instance, in the morning, we raise the level of our mental energy. And then we have to pay attention to keep a dialogue or keep a conversation in our mind connected with that level, positive level of, of our uh, positive level of thoughts, no? of, of thought energy. So raising the level of energy and paying attention to keep that level of energy high, especially it's not so much about, as I, the key point is, it's not so much about fighting the negative thoughts, but keeping the level of thoughts at a higher level in a, with a, I would say, spiritual perspective of myself. When I say spiritual, what I mean, thoughts that are connected with our best qualities. One of the best qualities we have and we all need so much nowadays is peace. But not just peace, but we need uh, happiness, contentment, fulfillment. We need harmony. We need so many things that we are desperately, people are desperately looking for these things outside. But the reality is that situations, things, even wealth is not going to give you 
peace of mind. Many times on the contrary. Right? The more you have external things and achievements, the more you have worries and so many wasteful thoughts. So this is the, the key secret and key point that in fact, raising the level of energy of my mind does not depend on any external support. That's a very good news because we can create that by our own uh, practice, by developing this strength, this inner skill. And so that's completely in, in our hands. So let us let us practice and let us um, detox our mind with this uh, positive method. And especially we need the consistency, the regular constant practice in our lives. So I would suggest that instead of having more ideas, let us experience with uh, some a meditation, with some higher higher level thoughts or thoughts of higher energy so that we can experience by, our, by uh, for ourselves the benefits of this uh, practice and meditation. So I am going to, to guide a meditation now and I invite you just to relax yourself and maybe pay attention that your back is straight but Allow your body to, to relax as much as you can. Let your muscles of, of your legs or your, of your arms let go of any tension as much as possible, as much as it is easy for you. And allow your breathing to become more relaxed, more natural, Allow your breathing to find its own rhythm. And then let us take our attention inside. Let's become aware of our inner space. Let's become aware of our mind. And we can become the observer of our own thoughts. First, in this first step, we can practice to be the observer, just to become aware of what's going on in the screen of my mind. This is a very useful practice for us to become detached of our own thoughts. In this first step, it doesn't matter with which type of thoughts are there. I just become aware, I just become present, connected with the here and now, aware of the present moment. And I become aware of what's going on in the mind. Just as if I'm in a cinema watching the screen where the movie is projected, I am looking or observing the screen of my mind. And next step is to become aware that in fact, I have the capacity, the power to project anything I want in the screen of my mind. I don't need just to be a passive observer, but I can be an active creator. I can create a thought of peace. I can create a thought like, my true essence is peace. I am a peaceful being. I am a being of peace and peace, silence, serenity are my true nature. I tune to the higher frequency of peace and silence. That's my true nature. That's my real nature. Sometimes 
in my confusion, I reach a point sometimes where I think that being stressed, having tension is normal. But now in meditation, I easily can realize what really is normal is peace. Stress and tension are altered, negatively altered states of mind. And peace, silence, harmony are higher frequencies. The level of energy and the frequency of my mind is raising up right now. My mind becomes positive and charged with positive energy. Not just I am a being of peace, but I connect with an experience of well-being. Well-being and harmony are also my natural qualities. So my mind is full of peace, full of harmony. It's in a state of well-being. And I realize how different is to look at the world and to the situations from this higher level of energy in my mind. When my mind is peaceful, silent, full of harmony, my creative power increases a lot. I can see solutions. I can find possibilities every moment in every situation. I am above all those patterns of wasteful thinking or negative thinking. I'm above and beyond that lower energy of thought. And so now the challenge, it's a positive challenge, is to keep attention all the time, as much as I can, as much as I can. Keep attention to keep this level of energy high, this frequency or vibration of thought at a high level, at the level of peace, the level of love, the level of harmony and contentment. This is my spiritual aim. To get rid, to become completely free from any negative and wasteful pattern of thinking. So with this intention, with this aim, slowly, slowly, we come back from this meditation. And this is an open invitation to practice this every day and pay attention and see how this creates newness and how this benefits my life. Thanks very much. We say Om Shanti to finish the meditation. Thank you, Bill. That was very interesting how you compared the physical detox to the detox of the mind. And uh, really, it's easier said than done, um, slowing down the thoughts and raising the frequency. 
and um, it was just coming to my mind when there uh, it's it's just that life um, offers so many challenges to us on a daily basis at work as well as at personal in personal life so um what would you recommend is the first step to even quieten the mind to be able to raise the uh, level of our thoughts or the quality of our thoughts the first step yeah well the first step is to realize as we practice and learn in raj yoga that i am the creator of my own thoughts that i am not just a passive consumer of the thoughts of my mind but i can really uh, develop this art of creating new new patterns but the first step is always uh, to practice this it's not just to know it to know it is good but but there's not so much benefit in knowing it uh, the first step will be as i said i suggest beginning the day with uh, with a very deep as much as deep as you can meditation with a practice every day every morning set up your thoughts in this direction of your inner qualities of peace silence harmony and become the embodiment of these qualities that's the first step and then to check afterwards to check the type of dialogue and conversation i have in my mind that it is aligned with these uh, positive qualities it is to start <laughs> yeah and uh, just like we are doing a physical detox we are very careful about what we consume our diet similarly for the mind what would be a good source of input we can give to our mind for creating that quality of um, high level frequency thoughts well, many um, some people ask me how to how to start, how to begin, and I would say that because um, for many people they haven't practiced meditation and they don't know exactly. For instance, here in Spain, we have um, we have a YouTube channel where we have plenty of uh, videos of meditation, but it, this is in Spanish. And so, what I suggest is. To, you can begin by listening a uh, guided meditation. It's it's the easiest method because you are listening, you are uh, concentrating on those thoughts, and it is already made for you. And I don't know if you have any any resource like that, but ready-made guided meditations, so that it is very easy for for people who are interested to practice very quickly. Because later we will learn to create those thoughts by for our for ourselves by ourselves, but at the beginning I think guided meditation is a very good very useful tool. Thanks, Bill, for sharing your thoughts with us, and thank you everyone for joining us today. I would like to also thank our technical support team. All our oneness sessions are recorded and available on YouTube, the One Point Oneness channel, and they are available for you to have a look and also share with your friends and family to take benefit. If you have any suggestions or feedback, feel free to write to us or leave a comment there. The next One Point Oneness session is due on Friday, 29th of September at 9 a.m. UK time. Do join us for the next session. Until then, be positive, be light. Thank you.